Seth and Candy and Atlas with Adventure Driven here and we are up here on top of the mountains above Big Sur and I have started to get ready to make some dinner and Seth are you hungry? Yes dying. Well this is like the best view a kitchen could have so I set up down here and let's get some food out of our fridge. I'm gonna pull some of our yummies out of our Dometic fridge. Picked up some salmon, got it in the freezer, and some sage, parsley, butter, kale, do garlic white wine sauce. I think that'll be good. This is so pretty. She's gonna want to cook here all the time. <laughs> we got little. Atlas. You don't get oceanfront property in uh, Arizona, that's for sure. Are you gonna help us, Alice? <laughs> Come on, Bubby, let's go. Pull all my tools out here. I got some garlic, shallots. I'm gonna make this sauce, and while I'm doing that, the salmon can be thawing out and I will pull out some veggies. That'll be good. Butter. <laughs> All of it. How much are you roughly going to use? Every last bit of it. <laughs> Do you like butter candy? Yes. Is butter your thing? Yeah. And yeah. bacon. And bacon but bacon isn't going into this, but the butter will make up for it. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. I think our atlas disappeared, but we'll come back. Yeah. We'll be fine. Got some yummy. Ah, going. Ah, losing the garlic. <laughs> She does that. Precious garlic, I like that too. Mm. What are we eating anyway? You know, I have a few random things and I thought I'd put some stuff together that I thought would be good. Pulled out some frozen salmon that I've had. In the freezer? In the freezer, <laughs> in my Dometic freezer. I love it, oh my goodness. It's changed my life. <laughs> it's changed how we eat while we camp. This isn't camping. This is living outside. This is the coolest thing. Because people are like, wow, you camp fancy. And I'm like, I don't know if this is really called camping. It's more like living somewhere else other than where you normally live. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, pretty awesome. So, yeah, I had some veggies, some greens, and I figured that I would uh, just put some stuff together, do kind of like a, a garlic white wine butter sauce. <laughs> and serve it over salad so it'll be half good for us and well, half, <laughs> half <salad>. not. <laughs> That'll keep the mosquitoes away, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll have some pretty uh, yummy smelling bread. <laughs> Actually, the, our body that we camp with sometimes says we smell like wood chips. <laughs> <laughs> I guess <laughs> you either are what you eat or the environment that you hang out in. And we're out in the woods a lot, so kind of makes sense. This is where you'll find Atlas most of the time at Candy's feet. He likes his mama. Atlas, don't you? You like candy? <laughs> yes. That's what he said. He said that. Not me. <laughs> Man, this is making me hungry. It's already snowing at home. I see why so many people live in California. <laughs> this has been a pretty cool trip. Work and a little play too. Try 
chopping up some parsley, just chopped up some sage. And the cutting board here, isn't it pretty? A longtime friend, Bill Pollock from back in Kentucky, made this and sent it to us and I just love it. Hey Atlas, you want some parsley? He likes lettuce and all kinds of greens. He left. <laughs> He's gonna be happy with that for a while. Lit. Sizzle this up. This is gonna, oh man, I'm so excited. Happy to be here, enjoying life. Great adventure. You never know what life will bring. This is a one of the most amazing places I've ever cooked. <laughs> ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Whales have been spouting out there. There was a barge that went by. It's there's fog coming in, so that'll probably be here tonight. And we are looking forward to the sunset. We're trying to get cooked, the dinner cooked before the sunset so we can eat and enjoy it. You better get to cooking. I, I'm going jabber, at it. Jabber, jabber, jabber. <laughs> mm, it's starting to smell really, really good. Butter's almost melted. We'll get the salmon in there. I'm gonna let the butter brown a little bit before I put the wine and anything else in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wine it's not just for cooking I think I need a little or a whole glass <laughs> another nice thing about Cali mm, yum yum wine and time for wine we'll let this reduce a little bit bring all the flavors together I'm gonna put a few spices in here some chili pepper that I ground up. Kind of like crushed red chili, but it's not coming out here, so. <laughs> so put a little in there. I like it spicy. Seth has learned to like it spicy. <laughs> little salt. And a little black pepper. Bring out some of the lower notes. Can't have it all tangy. I think uh, I'll let that just do its thing for a little bit. And then I'm gonna poach the salmon in it. All right, time for the salmon to go in. I'm cooking all of what I got because it'll be a nice little snack or salad tomorrow. Get it all to fit in here. Yay! There it goes. Magma pan, yay! All right, about. 15 minutes, I'm gonna put in the kale. Maybe 10, I'll peek at it. Uh, 10 minutes or so, I'll put the kale in and let that get tender. And then right before I plate it, the parsley will go on and I'm gonna serve it over spinach. Mm. Smelling good. Kale's going in. This, we'll let this soften up. Just put it on top and then we'll stir it all in. Yeah, we like our greens. We want to stay strong. Mm. Your muscles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'll cook it. I don't know, maybe five more minutes or so. On with the lid. All right. It's ready to go. Looking yummy. Mm -hmm. You've outdone yourself, babe. Mmm. I'm excited. No. Me too. <laughs> Looks like seaweed. Appropriate, That's I guess. Very appropriate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is good. Made with love. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna get a little bit of that extra juice on there. You ready, babe? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait.
Yum. Mm. It smells good. It smells delicious. Thank you, baby. Mm. Thank now you time to chow down. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. It melts in your mouth. Mm. Our food. Mm. Yep. Live your dreams. Be adventure driven.